What's up you guys, finals are finally over and welcome back to the Manga Sutra Manga Review and in this week's video we're going to be talking about a mystery horror drama called Kasoba no Nai Machi ni Kane ga Narutoki which revolves around our main character Yuto Uzuki who after leaving Mitozu 10 years ago finally returns with his parents to find that the town has changed drastically and the childhood folklore of the Dark Ones is no longer childhood superstition but something that the town fears and follows greatly, to the extent that after sunset and after the bell tolls, everyone is to go inside. Now, the concept of this manga, of this entity, the dark one, that comes out at sunset after the bell tolls and kidnaps or kills anyone that is outside, is definitely an interesting concept that I would like to see executed in a horror manga, but... The whole manga itself is just a mess, and it's a mess because in several different aspects it fails. We have an incompetent or stupid main character in the form of Yuto, who is warned by his father to not stay out after sunset, who after coming into contact with his childhood friend Saki, she warns him not to be outside after sunset. She warns him of the Dark Ones and how dangerous the entity is or these creatures are and despite these warnings after coming into contact with a dark one he stares at it straight in the face assumes that it's a seriously injured person and right before he gets mauled Saki manages to save him in the nick of time take him to her apartment to stay for shelter for the night and she gives him a simple task of spreading some beans on the inside of the door to perform a protective barrier to keep the dark ones out instead he takes it upon himself to open the door to spread the beans outside the dark one grabs his arm almost rips it off almost manages to get inside of the apartment and possibly kill him and Saki because of his stupidity now alongside the MC or the main character we have a lot of other characters that, in my opinion, I really can't root for any one of them. We have Saki, who is his childhood friend, and for some reason or another, she personally holds a grudge against him for moving out of Mitozu. He was 10 at the time that his parents decided to move out of Mitozu to the city. He didn't have a say in the decision. He couldn't do anything about the decision, but for whatever reason, she personally holds him responsible and she hates him for it. On top of that, we have Saki and Yuto's other childhood friend, Ryu Yamagami, who has a crush on Saki, but somehow doesn't have the balls to tell it himself, and is very salty towards the connection that Yuto and Saki have, and is trying to jeopardize that at every single chance that he gets. We have Yuto's mom, who is very childish and in many aspects irrational later on in the manga and we have his father who at times is an idiot so for now none of the characters are people that I'd root for and the dialogue in the manga is stale it doesn't create any good character development it doesn't continue any type of plot the chapters are really short going forward and as far as the action in the manga it just feels it feels lacking it feels very lacking in many aspects it feels like most of the action that happens within the manga as far as the dark ones and the main character and the group is only initiated by the group's stupidity and like i said the concept of the dark ones these creatures lingering out outside and you have to stay inside in this small town in the mountains this is a great setting and it's a great concept for a manga but i just feel like the author they just didn't do any favors to this concept and the way the main character and the cast of characters in this manga have um interacted with one another and the way that the dark ones are executed is just poorly done and I'd rather just see the main character and the rest of them die because I would feel it'd be more interesting as a manga instead of giving our main character who's stupid, very stupid to the point that he should be dead by now, instead of giving him plot armor and 
you know, these plot devices that keep him alive, just kill him off. Just kill him off and make it one of those types of mangas where it's just survival of the people in the village and not survival of a main character or a group of characters. Make it so that the rational people survive. Make it so that you have to actually think that you have to actually use strategy, you have to use tactics, you have to use common sense instead of having main characters who know that there's a creature right outside the door that could kill them and instead open the door anyway to sprinkle some beans out there. Or better yet, having a bunch of characters who open the door knowing that there's a creature lounging around out there trying to get inside but opening the door for somebody that they think is going to come to the door that they don't even see, that they don't even hear, but they're gonna open the door anyway because one person just really wants to see them. No, it's irrational, it's stupid. I think this manga is just, I hesitate to call it a steaming pile of garbage. It's not a steaming pile of garbage. I know that the artists put a lot of work into this manga and I I personally don't like the art style. Um, I've gotten used to it, That that's different. Um, getting used to an art style is different from actually liking it. You know, you can read a manga, you might not like the art style at first, but you get accustomed to it over several chapters. But that's different from liking it, and I don't like this art style. Um, it just further just shows how much of a mess this whole manga is, as far as, um, the way the plot is developed, the way the plot is progressing. It's been pretty slow, and I've just been giving it several chapters to try to see if it picks up, but it's just, the characters are still stupid. They're not actually evolving or, you know, wising up, because I know in some horror mangas and some horror animes and whatnot, um, you do have incompetent main characters, and you do have an incompetent main cast at the beginning of the series, but through adversity and through obstacles, they actually wisen up and they actually become smarter. But we have not seen this, and I'm about like 19 chapters into it. So, this is VM. If you want to look at it, I recommend it as far as the concept is, but I couldn't promise anything as far as the characters. It, it makes me want to just punch the screen because of how stupid they are. But, um, give it a shot. What do you think of the manga? Would you like to continue reading it? Would you recommend it to your friends? Do you think it's a steaming pile of garbage? What do you think? This is VM. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.